Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we're going to focus on the Securities and Exchange Commission. To make it easier for you to quickly do your own research, the links we discuss will be in the description below the video. In each episode, we're targeting six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does the agency have a small business portal? Does the agency list out events it hosts or attends so you can plan well in advance? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months that will help you identify opportunities? Does the agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to contract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency? And finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or to get questions answered? You can already see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and take a quick tour. First thing we do is the Ozdebu portal page, and they have a pretty good page here. Uh, it's tied together with their acquisitions uh, site, and I like that. On the right-hand side, you can see they've got a call-out box. It really helps you jump to certain activities. That was very handy for me to provide the links to you. Um, and the rest of the page, there's nothing there. The value is in that box to the right. I'm going to go ahead and back. Events. Um, do they show us events that they have? And coming into the events, um, one of the things that I noticed in here, oh, wrong page, sorry. Um, one of the things I noticed is that they talk about the um, activity that they have, and it looks like they do some special uh, specialty items. And then they provide a lot of uh, guidance on how to do business with them, how to prepare, et cetera. So um, as you come in, you, there's different people you can reach out to if you have certain uh, exclusion, ex inclusion you can uh, reach out to that point of contact. It's a generic email, obviously, but you can reach out to them. And then um, just exploring down below as well how to get in, how to participate in these events. A lot of driving directions, but one thing I don't really see is an actual schedule. So um, one of the things that's interesting is to see if they're there, but this is the information for you to be able to reach out yourself. Forecasting and subcontracting are always uh, two of my favorite. So the forecast uh, opportunity that it has, it definitely has a forecast, so I'll give them credit for that. It's a PDF, and, and you'll notice, like, here it talks about the office. This is some of the legend. But down here is where the forecast is, and it's very limited on what's in here. Uh, the most valuable thing on a forecast is a point of contact so that you can reach out and begin to develop um, your chance at winning the business, perhaps talking to the government about uh, setting it aside for your designation and maybe – Folks can deal with that. Um, so a as we look at it, it's got some of these uh, set-asides, and I like how they say potential, by the way. This is what we're thinking, but we're open to uh, discussing something different. So you have a forecast, and this is pretty good for you to be able to come through and follow up on. I'm going to close that. The next one was subcontracting, and I think these guys get the top prize for what I've seen recently on subcontracting. It's actually a spreadsheet that they have. Um, and so here they, they talk about all the opportunities that are available. And not only do they provide information to the, you know, clearly describing the contract, et cetera, but if you come across, they have first point of contact from the federal government, from SEC themselves. And as you go across, clearly you see some of that information that you would expect to see. But as you come across, this is the part that could be hugely valuable to you is um, who the who has the contract currently, a point of contact, or name, the number. This allows you to be able to reach out to them and, and really follow up. If I get rid of one of these for a second just so we can see how many, there's 40 different companies in here um, that you could reach out to. That's awesome. I mean, that that's this ability to grow um, your business as you try to uh, reach out within the Security and Exchange Commission to be able to get some business, and best place to start is as a small business. The last, uh, oh, so registration, there's nothing special. And then the last one I was going to show you is the contacts. They do have uh, one contact. And so when you come in here, uh, there's this sheet that talks about doing business. And way down here on the bottom of the sheet, scrolling pretty fast, but down here at the bottom of the sheet, there is this person. And so you can reach out to that small business specialist and to begin to uh, learn more about SCC and build the relationship with them. That concludes this walkthrough. I hope you found this information helpful as you continue to grow your business. 
Please provide any comments below or reach out to me directly if you have questions using my email address in the description. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for more video tours.